Hey guys, it's Christy, and today's video is a candle unboxing. Ooh. <laughs> I've actually been waiting for these candles for some time. I am completely out of candles right now, like 100% completely out of candles. I don't have a single candle burning or to burn. So, I'm happy to have this box. <laughs> This box is, um, it's a box full of Wishes Candle Co. If you don't know what Wishes Candle Co. is, it is a candle company that does Disney inspired candles. They also do some Harry Potter inspired ones. Each candle comes with a, a free um, Disney inspired pin on the inside. Uh, what they do is they put a little, I think it's hot glue, that they put on the side of some foil. They put the pin inside a little Ziploc plastic bag, they wrap it in foil, and they hot glue it to the side of the candle on the inside so that um, it doesn't burn the candle as the candle is burning itself. It doesn't burn the pin as the candle is burning itself. And it's usually about halfway down, so about a little more than halfway when your candle's used, you can take that out. I tend to wait till it's at the very bottom so that I'm like, ooh, I get a pin and my candle's done. Because if I burn it halfway and I pull it out, I'm like, oh, I don't have anything exciting to look forward to at the end of the candle. I've just used another candle. <laughs> So I try to wait to the end. Sometimes waiting to the end, though, it ends up somehow falling over. So if you do wait to the end, just be very careful that it's not too far to the end. Um, so like I said, it was they, they come with a free Disney-inspired pin on the inside. The reason I say it's Disney-inspired is that they... From what I can tell, they probably purchased the pins in bulk on eBay. Some can be fake, some may not be fake. Um, if you are doing pin trading on like social media sites and stuff, you would not want to use one of these pins because uh, people are looking for specific pins and they're looking for real ones. If you go to the parks, I mean, they don't advise you to use the, what they call scrapper pins in trading, but everybody does. So I even do, I will go and trade my scrapper pins for other scrapper pins that I really want. I have some scrapper pins that I chose. I gave up a different scrapper pin for a different, for another scrapper pin, because it was one that I liked, like a Nightmare Before Christmas one or something like that. And you can totally do that. Well, I mean, they say you shouldn't, but everybody does. Okay, so, now that I've explained it, I think Wishes Candle Co. does actually have a subscription box. I'm not positive. I don't get it. I just order the candles. They do have other things like um, uh, wax melts and things like that. So I'm just going to jump on into this box. And with each candle, and I think there's 10 in here. I'm not kidding. I think there's 10 in here. With each candle, I will pull up the candle and explain what the fragrance is on from my phone as well. Because you do know that I usually do that and I have gotten feedback that they like it when I do that. They, you guys, <laughs> that you guys like it when I do that. So I will do that. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. I already opened the box, but I haven't dug in. On the top of every box that they send, they send a little card. It gives you the do's and don'ts, which I'll read real quick. Um, thank you. Here are some, some helpful tips for your order. Do's. Let the hot wax reach both ends of the jar on the first burn. Trim your wick a fourth as needed. A fourth an inch. Um, fo follow us on Instagram and tag us in your photos. Put out the flame before carefully removing your prize, of course. Um, and then they do at Wishes Candle Co. at WishesCandleCo.com. Don't. Burn your candle past half total wax in the jar. Half an inch of total wax in the jar. Uh, and burn your candle for longer than four hours at a time. So they suggest not to burn your candle for more than four hours at a time. The reason they suggest that is because that's the best length of time to preserve your candle. Um, I'll be the first one to say that I'll burn mine all day long. I have a bad habit of doing that. And that's probably why I go through so many candles, but um, you're not supposed to. A caution, never leave flame unattended or never or near children or pets. I do that too. But my children are old enough to know better than to touch the flame. My pets, they're not really, well, one's not tall enough to reach it. The other one, he's scared of everything, so he wouldn't touch it anyway. Um, 
They also send you stickers and they're not always the same. They'll change, they get changed up every now and then. Like in the fall, you'll have some fall oriented ones and things like that. These are cute. And then they, of course they have their wishes one here and then all the rest are themed to whatever. Like that's uh, Rapunzel or Tangled. That is too. That's a Dole Whip. That's up. I'm assuming that's Rapunzel too. Uh, yeah, so they're just themed stickers. Okay, let me count the candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was right. I ordered ten. So, there's a lot of peanuts in here. I don't like it. This is the packaging. I don't like peanuts, but I mean, that's how you package to be safe. I just don't like them. They irritate me. <laughs> so, let's just do a candle at a time. Here's the candle wrapped in a little foamy stuff which I also don't like the sound of. It's like nails on chalkboard to me or bubble wrap being popped. So a lot of these, uh, maybe not all of them, but at least some of them are new scents to me and I have got the peanuts all over me. Um, so this is what the candle looks like. This one is called the Mediterranean Riviera. Inside of all of these have some pretty sparkles. They're not all blue sparkles. They um, do the sparkles to, oh, match their candles oh my gosh that smells amazing i have not had this one but it reminds me of uh hmm not kind of like, like a hint of flying over africa and that's a different candle company by the way like it's that's magic candle company but it kind of reminds me of flying over africa slightly but i bet it's closer to banshee because they're both very clean smells and i apologize for the dog barking i think it's just gonna have to be like a get used to it kind of thing because that's what they do they bark constantly and there's nothing i can do about it and it drives me absolutely insane so i'm gonna look up the fragrance right now so the mediterranean riviera has ozone citrus um oak moss and violets it smells amazing. Like, I'm pretty sure this is now at the top of my list, just under um, Flight, which is the banshee smelling one, and um, uh, Flying Over Africa from <laughs> Magic Candle Company. Okay, moving on to the next one. This one is Bay Lake, also one that I have not used before. It's white, and I bet the glitter, oh, it's teal, like, Ooh, this smells good. It's almost a um, turquoise, maybe? Turquoise sparkle? I like that. It's very warm smelling. I thought it would be more summery. It's got a bit of a warm smell. Smint. A warm smint. A warm scent to it. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I think they're in alphabetical order. They are. Uh, break the spell. Bay Lake. A green clove and aloe. So it smells very uh, warm. It still smells summerish, but it's got like a warmer tone to it. It's good. Uh, next one. Ugh, I hate the peanuts. Oh, I have had this one. It's one of my favorites. It's called Wayfinder. It's a pretty, pretty blue. And it's gold sparkles on the inside. This one is very citrusy. Um, like, a, well, I would think of a Hawaiian scent. It smells so good. So Wayfinder is citrus, coconut, cream, and pineapple. And you definitely smell the pineapple a, a lot. You smell the pineapple a whole lot. So that's number three. This one is Spirit of Aloha. Aloha, I also, uh, this one is a newer one for me as well. I haven't used this one. It's a white tea, ginger, and bamboo. It's yellow and it's got like orangish glitter. Ooh. I like that one a lot. I definitely smell the white tea and the bamboo and the ginger. I smell it all. It smells so good. I was actually very hesitant to get that one because I was unsure of it. So moving on to number four, five, five. We're halfway there. So this one's the tiki one. It's a uh, juicy fruit, hibiscus, coconut, and sugar. I don't have to look that one up. <laughs> it's pink with green. I know, I was like, pink? <laughs> oh, pink? 
it's pink <laughs> with green. Wow. Wow. What's wrong with me? It smells really good. I really like this one a lot. It smells almost like candy to me. It's fantastic. Oh, man, I'm getting some new favorites. I've always been hesitant to try these. And I get the ones that I always like because those are the ones, those, those. What is wrong with me today? Those are the ones that I like. I know I'm from the South, but geez, that's like more Southern than Southern can get. Holy crap. So number six, I have had this one before too and I like it quite a bit. It's uh, Wispwill. I'm so sorry about the dog. This one, oh, they're sold out on this one. It's sandalwood, patchouli, lilac, and musk. So it's blue and, oh, that's interesting. Huh, it's got blue glitter and it's very, it's very clean, fresh, cottony smelling. Like it smells the way I would think a baby, baby powder would smell with a hint of scented baby powder maybe I don't know so the ooh I went that is like it's cracked on the inside not the glass but the candle wax which is fine They're, like to me there's nothing wrong with that I don't care if the glass were cracked I would have an issue but the candle inside I'm fine with it so moving on number seven my gosh I've got peanuts all over me and glitter all over me and this one is picture worthy pink this is a new one for me too. So picture worthy pink is strawberries and cream. So this one should be good. It's pink. I bet it's got like pink glitter on the inside. Oh, pink glitter on the inside. Oh yeah. Strawberries and cream. It smells so, oh gosh, it makes me hungry. I want something to eat like right now. I haven't had dinner yet. It's dinner time. I'm so sorry about the dog. Um, it's dinner time and I haven't had dinner yet. So that makes me like my mouth is salivating right now. No joke. Salivating mouth. Number eight. Let's get through these. Uh, Be the Light. This is also a new one for me. Be the Light is strawberry, guava, passion fruit, mango, peach, vanilla, and sugar. Ooh. See what color? Purple. Mmm, like strawberry starburst. Purple, very pretty. That one smells so fantastic. It smells like strawberry starburst. I want to eat it. My mouth is salivating even more now. Oh my goodness. Two more to go. A wonderful thought. I have had this one before and I like it a lot. A wonderful thought is lemon, lime, and cotton candy. Who doesn't love cotton candy? Oh my gosh, the big top candle is cotton candy. I bet that's that last one. No, I guess I didn't get Big Top last time. Um, and it, ugh, lemon and lime and cotton candy with it. And, mm, I love cotton candy smell. And it's got uh, lime green. Sparkles. Okay, last one, pretty sure. I don't think there's any more. I've got peanuts everywhere, all over me. Yeah, there's not any more in there. This is the last one. Norway. Um, I have not had the Norway candle from Wishes. I have had it from Magic Candle Co. So this one's Norway from Wishes Candle Co. Norway is uh, wildflowers, watermelon, and crisp air. And it's sold out. It smells very crisp and clean. I smell the wildflowers in the air. I don't really smell the watermelon though. Oh, blue. Okay, so after smelling the Norway candle from Wishes Candle Co. and the Norway candle from Magic Candle Co. that I recently purchased, and like I said, I'm out of candles right now, but I had it. Um, uh, I was burning it like a week ago. I actually like the Norway Wishes Candle better, this one. I like this one better than, the smell of this one better than the smell of Magic Candle Co. I know I'm sitting here comparing the candle companies. There's not a whole lot to compare. They're both drastically different. These are tall in a glass and they come with a free pen inside. They're $19 a piece. Yes. Well, I think one of them was more than that, but they're around 18 or $19 a piece. Um, and the Magic Candle Co. are coming tins and they're wood wick. So they're, I guess they compete with each other, but I don't really feel like they do because sometimes you want a woodwick candle that has that sound. I use a woodwick candle um, by my bathtub, so it has that crackling sound. And it's very comforting while I'm taking a bath. 
the other ones I use throughout the house. My husband prefers the woodwind panels at his desk while he's working, so he gets that crackling sound. So it's I guess they are competitive with each other, but I equally purchase from both of them. I have candles that I like from one and candles that I like from the other. Like um, I really like Flight of Passage, or not Flight of Passage, Banshee and uh, Flying Over Africa from Magic Candle Co. Oh, in the Banana Rum one. But I have so many here that I like from this company. And I like France from Magic Candle Co. But from these, I don't know that I've found one I don't like yet. And I have found some that I didn't like with Magic. Um, but I purchase them equally. Um, I actually prefer uh, Magic Candle Co.'s oils. I like their oils. Um, their tarts, the, the little ones you break out and put in your burners, I prefer Wishes because Magic Candle Co.'s melt too quickly and the smell goes away quicker, which is weird because I feel like their candles have a really, really strong fragrance, so it seems weird that their tarts scents would go away quicker. So, I mean, it's just whatever you prefer, but I like both companies. I purchase from both companies. I enjoy both companies' candles. Um, my paycheck goes to them. They gotta like sign me up for just like reoccurring candles. No, don't do that. I have enough subscriptions. <laughs> um, but okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit talking about all the candles and just let you guys go. I've been rattling on for almost 20 minutes. All right, guys, that's all I have. I'll put a link down in the description below to the candle company. I'm not gonna list each individual candle out. If you have any questions about any of their candles or you see one you like and you don't know if you'd like it and you wanna message me if I've purchased it, I'll let you know and I'll tell you what I thought. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thanks so much for watching. Bye now.